Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Styles here, and you probably haven't heard me say that in a very long time. In this video that I'm currently posting on this channel, it's basically uh, something, a small kind of clip that is taken out of my broadcast, uh, twitch.tv slash styles online. Basically, I was just kind of talking about um, my mindset and the plan of action that I kind of have moving forward with not only my Twitch channel, but on every single social media platform that I currently cover, uh, being YouTube, Twitter. I'm even thinking about TikTok, funny enough. Uh, so kind of everything along those lines. And I would just really appreciate if you guys kind of took a few minutes to kind of like watch this video and kind of see where I'm kind of see where my mind's kind of going and see where I'm kind of heading uh, moving forward. And again, I'm going to be posting pretty consistently on all of my social media platforms so definitely if you haven't been connected with me in a long period of time now's the time to do it because there's going to be a lot of really positive and really great changes happening on this channel moving forward thank you all for watching and roll the intro <laughs> Match yeah, so Detroit found. was cool. Um, I definitely, if there's anything that I want to like replay through that like I miss, I really miss. Uh, no, there's no more Need for Speed content on my channel anymore either. Um, I wouldn't mind running through the story mode on that again, low key with a different car. I wouldn't mind that. But then like a bunch of the people that follow me for Need for Speed would come out of the woodwork and be like, "Yo, you're permanently back." I'm like, "Nah, relax, relax." I wouldn't mind Dead playing match. some like COD campaigns Warm again. Up. Actually. Now that, yeah, what, ooh, if I did like a Modern Warfare 2 COD campaign, I, I, where can I buy that? I know that that came out on PC. Um, if you lose focus, you die. I know a surprising amount about that game, yeah. Fight. I only know so much. I think I played through Hidden Agenda. I didn't really like Hidden Agenda that much. I want to play, um, I want to play It Takes Two. Is that the game? I think it's, it's like where you're like these little like, like some sort of like duo game where like you're playing with like another person throughout the entire playthrough. Like Army of Two was one of the first games to ever do that, and that was on the Xbox 360. Um, and there was like things that you had to do with like two different people. Like that was fucking cool, man. Um, but I think It Takes Two is I think is the other game that's like kind of newer that went off that style. I think there's another one that's like a prison escape one too. There's like some games that have like some duo mechanics, but I would love to do those too. That'd be fucking cool. I fell asleep watching that. It's in my top 10 games, maybe top five. Yeah, I, I'm not that much of a Detroit fanatic. Uh, I like it. Like it was a good playthrough. I definitely enjoyed it, but it's not like, it's definitely not like my top, top, top played. I, I guess my favorite games, I really loved Uncharted. Like it, that's like on my bucket list. Like that's, I need to replay through that game. Um, just as an older person and kind of look at it in a different way. Cause I, when I first played through it, I think I was 17, like 17 or 18. Like I was either 17 or just turning 18 when I played through that game. Um, just looking at it now, like 22, like 22, like I've lived a lot of life in the last four years. It sounds weird, but I, I really have like grown up a lot. Um, so it'd be really fucking sick to like play that game back and see like what changed, and, like, what I still like and what I don't like and stuff. What's another choice based game? I would love to do Telltale games. That's the that's what I was trying to think of. I would love to do Telltale games. Like Wolf Among Us, like the Walking Dead series, like all of the Telltale Walking Dead games, like Did I just Okay, I just had to that year and I got to take That sucks. Um all of those like Telltale games, because they're also decision based. Bro, I would love to play through those. I'd say the main ones that I'd want to play through is probably the Batman one and Wolf Among Us. Um, those would probably be like the main two that I want to play through. Um, I definitely wouldn't mind playing through the, uh, the Walking Dead games, but that would take a very long time to complete. Um, like, I'm talking, like, if I'm going to hop into the Walking Dead series by Telltale, like, I'm going to be in it for the long haul, my guy. And I kind of know, like, I watched the playthrough already, so I kind of know, like, a lot of the main stuff that happens. I would also love to play Danganropa as well, but again, I've seen a playthrough of that game, so that, I, like, if I've seen a playthrough of it, it's hard for me to get behind it. Oh, Until Dawn, that's the other one that I had to think about that I couldn't fucking, I couldn't think about, like, the decision-based game that I played. Until Dawn was definitely another one. I liked Until Dawn. It scared the shit out of me, but I liked that, too. I need to, like, find some games to play. Like, what are some good story games that are out now that are, like, newer? Like, minus, like, God of War and, like, Spider-Man, because I've played both of those already. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're, you suck, bro. 
I'm not going front. You kind of, you kind of whiff, you kind of whiffy biffy on that. But yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out like what games I should continue playing, man, because I have like a lot of ideas. And obviously, you know, Valorant's cool, and I'd argue that I'm mainly an FPS like content creator, and I'm gonna like, you know, have a good time doing that. But like, I need to play other stuff too, just because like in 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 my heart, I'm a gamer. Like as much as like you know. I want to be a competitive shooter FPS. Like I can't play Valorant for the rest of my life because one, like I can very well be like I actually actually watching Maz's stream. He's um he's uh someone that I recently was talking to um without saying too much um and Maz's stream is really fucking cool too. And he was saying like you know he can't really stick to one game for a long period of time. I can stick to a game for a while. That's not really the issue, but I need to like sprinkle in some other shit on top of it. So like what I did before with my streams when I was doing all the story based stuff is I would basically like I would start my game or I start my stream with the same game every single time without fail. So I would still like play Valorant. Like let me just rephrase this too for people who might be listening and are skeptical. Um, I would still very much like play Valorant, like, but I would do like probably instead of like Five kills six, remaining. seven, eight games, I'd probably only do like three or four. Um, and then with that in mind, um, so I would probably do like three to four games plus a warm up. Which is, you're talking like a three, three, like probably three hours in, right? That sounds about. That's about a three hour session. And then I would spend another additional. This would probably just be on the weekends. This wouldn't be during the week because my streams during the week are pretty short. So probably Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, I would add an additional. Um, I'd add an additional, um, like you know probably two hours to that stream um to do the story based game that i'm talking about so i'd be dedicating like two hours two hours of stream to the other games that i want to play so like that's why i'm saying like i have all these ideas of what i want to play but i if once i start committing to something like i gotta like stick to it and stay regimented on it because i'd be putting six hours a week on it which really isn't that much time if you think about it plus like that's not including like pause time communication comedy time um transition time loading screens One kill like remaining. so it's it, i would have to i mean some some days would be longer but the goal would be like a two hour target for like that block like basically i'd be putting my stream into like blocks my stream would be like in sections so it'd be like it'd start off with valorant then the story based game that whatever that might be at that moment until we beat it and then like the next g stream would be like valorant again let's say i've finished all of the uncharted series the next game would be like something else it might be whatever right but the idea on growing your channel in this method this is actually a very 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 valuable thing that you can do when you're growing your channel by the way i need to do one more i'm not gonna lie um so when you're growing your channel in this method it actually helps you significantly because it allows you to kind of build your community for your home base game Match that you selected found. for me at this case it's going to be valorant obviously but in the past it was minecraft previously it might have been need for speed but ditto with that you're also introducing your audience to you playing different games without fully forcing it onto them so like you could be like hey guys like you know um i know a lot of you guys are here for the val like th if i was to transition right now what i would say is something along the lines of, like hey guys um so i'm not ending stream or anything like that but i am going to be switching over to another uh story based game that we've been kind of playing in the back end uh Death if you guys have not watched any of the playthroughs of it yet definitely check out some of the highlights so you can catch up to where we're at in this part of the game um, this is the game that we're going to be playing and we're going to do probably an hour to two hour section of it I'd say two hours like a two hour section of it So it'd be nice for you to Remember, stick around for a few minutes just to see if you'd like it um, If not then you can be on your very merry way and I'll see you next Valorant stream But if you guys want to you know support me and watch some other stuff then you could definitely do that as well So that's like That's kind of like how I would like introduce it like when I transition so I that's how I would go about it um, which which worked in the past right and I know that it would work again I just got to really like strive to kind of like grow my content as much as I possibly can obviously because I need to as much as like I stream a decent amount now I need to be putting in way more work on multiple different social media platforms to get to where I want to be um, like I have a lot of like come behind me one more time <laughs> um, I have a lot of like very like specific and hard to achieve goals that i need to that i i need to i don't need to achieve but i would really like to achieve so i have to I, there's a lot of work in the back end that's gonna have to be done in order for this to be possible a lot of y'all are probably not even gonna know what i'm talking about a lot of you might not even see it happening you'll just slowly kind of see the viewership and the numbers go up and you'll be like what's going on um there's a lot to content creation, man. Like, there is a lot. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things that need to be considered. There's a lot of, um... 
there's a lot of things that need to be considered like a lot 